Looky what arrived in the post for me this morning. Yep, two 12 volt solar panels that also work in overcast weather. So, I'm going to use them, attach them to the battery in the van, put these up in either the windows or on the roof somewhere. I think they're pretty hard wearing too. They've got like a bit of uh, glass or a bit of plastic, whatever, protecting them at the minute. And they're held on with these things, but I think. This might need changing, I don't know yet. Solar panels! Yeah. Um, right now we're going to stick this sheet of fabric through the bed or the top bunk and hopefully make it a bit more secure. Uh, so if any of the slats do fall on me in my sleep, they're held up. And aren't quite as damaging. Uh, so we're getting on with that today, and then down the front here, in front of the bunk or bed area, I'm going to put a sheet of that, I don't know if you can see it, yep, there you can, a sheet of that to uh, cover the little entrance way, and then we're going to use another one of these to neaten it up. So Nick's in there now, tucking and doing all sorts of madness with the slats so I'm going to run upstairs get our stuff and a staple gun and then I'm going to get on the hunt for staples see you in a second Nick danger man Nick back up to his old stunts again lying on top of the ever so fragile bunk bed stapling in the um, safety net I'm going to call it because hopefully if the bed breaks, it will save me. Save me and Fred. Save me and Fred, yeah. Dave's a bit he'll, selfish. He'll be alright, because <laughs> he'll have the other slats to protect him. Me, I'll have wood flying into my face and possibly broken glass, which is another thing I'm not really too looking forward to. And I might take that top vent out as well, so he's got a little bit more room. But that's uh, all speculative at the minute. Now. Okay. So I'm going to let Nick get on with that and uh, look we've even found some carpet in the loft, bits of blue and red, so we're going to use them as well. Here comes Nick, using the kitchen ladder. Nick's now putting up the cover for the door, which as you can probably see runs all the way down, covering under the bed, which is what we want. Uh, I did some work, I tore it. <laughs> I tore it to the right shape, so I'm pleased with that. And now Nick's sticking it up so that we can stick the other one of those over it. Cut it to shape and stick it over. And then that is my bottom bunk completely done, I think, now apart from a mattress. So if anyone knows where we can get a single mattress for cheap, if someone's seen one being thrown out or whatever, in the Essex area, we'll come and collect it. But apart from that, ooh, doesn't it look shiny? So now we're gonna, we're gonna get the, uh, this board in over the top of it now, and finish up the trim! We measured out the, this bit up here, I don't know if you can see it, yep. Um, we measured that bit out, and uh, then we measured this bit out. Uh, we peeled back the fabric, so that if, when we cut this bit here, we've got, we've still got the ability to fold the fabric over and create a clean edge. Uh, and that's where we are right now. trimming with the drapey curtainy thing that looks pretty cool in there but Nick's in there at the sec just uh, finishing up so jobs are good and Fred's about to cut the uh, step out 
Oh, he's going to try and get it working by grinding off how they, whoever had it before as well did it. So that's Fred's job for today, I guess. And now me and Nick, Nick's got the paint open. Uh, and we're going to paint the door. Not that door, but that door. And all the wood inside the van. Me and Nick are painting the uh, inside of the super bus. And it looks pretty cool. I don't know if you can see that properly. I'll get a better shot later when it's all done. But uh, that was the old one, obviously. And this is the colour that we're painting it. Some kind of stone colour, I think it is. But you can use it on anything. And it's one coat gloss, so we can be lazy and only put one coat on. And Fred is attacking the step with a crowbar. I like his thinking. Ta-da! Fred got the step working. Isn't he awesome? So now that slides in and out. I'm going to have a go doing it in a bit. Um, but me and Nick have also almost finished painting. We've just got a little bit left to do now. And then it all looks very, very neat. Nick even managed to avoid the hinges. And then I went over them accidentally. Just a little bit. But, um, yeah, that's that done, almost. Starts to look very fresh in here.